The new at 10 tonight, a Stewart tank has been brought to Berwick. The project has been in the works for almost 20 years. The Stewart tank made its way through the streets of Berwick over to the Stewart Tank Museum. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules was there for the unveiling and tells us more about history being honored in our area. Now, aside from the Stewart tank, they had plenty of other military vehicles on display, like this 1942 military Jeep here. The Stewart tank, named the Lady Lois, was first operated in 1942 during World War II, and today's ceremony was dedicated to honoring the rich history in Berwick during that time. We're just trying to keep the history alive because Berwick was a big participant in um, a pl um, Get, getting equipment for the, the World War II soldiers. Today also marks the 80th anniversary of the last tank to come out of the ACNF factory during World War II. The Stewart tank unveiled at the ceremony today was purchased from a collector in England in 2016. It took us from 2016 until now to raise enough money to do the restoration work. Uh, we got probably $80,000 in restoration work into it and uh, it's it's right now it's in the condition it was in when it came out of the factory in uh, December of 1942. Bill Hartzell, who worked on the restoration for the Stewart tank along with his son, says it was an honor to drive the tank and finally get it on the road for the world to see. It's kind of overwhelming personally. Um, I have been working on this tank approximately 17 months restoring it. So uh, to see this crowd, it's, it's really heartwarming to see. Now that the Stewart Tank is officially restored and up and running, members of the Stewart Tank Memorial Association say that they look forward to taking it to many more parades and events. Reporting from Berwick in Columbia County, I'm Alicia Hercules of Fox 56 News, first to 10. Now, if you're interested in viewing the Stewart Tank at the museum, it will be available for viewing in the next few months.